Time has come for Final Fantasy 1, and the event has almost begun. Yes, I'm done rhyming. <laughs> Hello everyone, Warrior of Light is coming in hot, along with Death Machine, a new event collaboration. We're going to get some unique event-exclusive gear. We're going to have a lot of cool things that are coming in with, in the form of login bonuses and quests to get us some materials and whatnot. So we'll get into that. We're going to talk about it. Hello everyone, it's Newsday Tuesday. My name is Norgaz, Warlord of the Visions, and I honor you all in my great hall. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. And of course, if you like the way we do content here for World of Visions, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, come back and see us again. And if you're feeling really froggy, hit that bell icon so you get notified of new content as soon as it drops. If you want something a little bit more action-oriented, find us on Twitch Tuesday through Friday. We'd love to have you guys part of that community as well. Without further ado, the news. All right, guys. So first off, there is going to be some scheduled maintenance for this patch. It's going to start at 2,200 hours today the 28th and go through 0 hundred hours on the 29th so i believe that should actually be at midnight so moving right along here there's going to be we're going to talk about warrior of light i'm not going to do an in-depth review as i normally do with the with warrior of light i will do a brief review of death machine uh usually when i do the news i do a little bit of review of all the characters and vision cards and stuff that way it's all packed into one one video you don't have to go through multiples however in this case I'm going to be doing a very in-depth deep dive analysis of Engelbert versus Warrior of Light. And we're also going to compare them against Agrius or Agrius, however you want to pronounce it. So she's coming out in about a month. So with the Final Fantasy Tactics return event. And so those are things to look forward to. And we'll also, of course, have the new uh, the new August uh, review of the August review schedule uh, coming up here uh, later this week as well. So here we go, guys. Warrior of Light. He's gonna have a. He's gonna be able to do a lot of things for your party. He's gonna. He's got. He is a main. He is main job. Warrior of Light. Sub job. Spellblade. Sub job. Dragoon. He's not necessarily so much a damage dealer. He can do a little bit of damage, but ultimately he is a tank through and through, and he will be able to tank and support your party a little bit uh, as well. So, what does he get in his kit? He gets a physical and a magical uh, shield he, that he that uh, he can grant one of which he can grant to party members we'll get into that again more in depth later we have a self buff that also raises hate which is a 12 defense 12 spirit buff so he's got a defensive spirit buff self buff along with hatred that's what makes him really really strong initial initial right away you can pop that bad boy you've got more hate and then you can move on and just start dealing damage for a while get hit several times and you can refresh it so that's pretty nice. His Limit Burst grants Protect and Shell, so that's an additional 25% damage mitigation if you have that maxed out. And it is a three-hit combo attack, and it's a so that's that's pretty nice. And it is a cross AE for a few squares in any direction. Very, very nice. He's going to have Holy Bravery, deals heavy damage. He, has, he does have a Gap Closer. He does have a Gap Closer, and I can't remember what the title of that one is off, offhand, but we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, recovers a set percentage of his own HP with Breath of Life. Now, this is actually up to 60% of his HP one time, and it does have a casting time with it, but that's a trade-off that I think anybody would be willing to take. That's 60% HP. No other tank right now can do that. You have Paladins that can buff, with, I think it's Saintly Wall. It's the 20%, or maybe that's the, the, the shield. Anyway, anyway, it's the HP buff. It's 20% to HP, and uh, some of the, they can do that to their party members as well. It's quite a very nice buff to have but it's only 20 percent of your hp that it does it increases the hp but it also heals it so if you're in a pinch you can use that but this is a 60 percent in one shot heal very very nice to have so again there's a lot of things that he can bring to the table but i'm not a huge fan of warrior of light and i don't want to give it away but i will be talking about who i'm actually going to be pulling for whether it be engelbert warrior of light or egrius and we'll kind of go from there so uh, in that uh, in that future video, and it, once I get that once I get that done, I'll pop it up. Here. I'll come back and I'll pop it up here on the screen as a uh, card. Speaking of cards, Death Machine. That was a smooth transition, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm so good. Anyway, so Death Machine is going to be a good Esper and a good Vision card for both tanks or for anybody who really needs it for tank or tanking or for damage resistance. It's going to be uh, fantastic for tanks in the sense that it's going to add both defense and missile resistance on the esper side and on the on the card side you have a selfish buff of piercing resistance up which will stack with any party piercing resistance up buff you have on any other vision cards in your party and area attack resistance up so area of effect attacks are going to be effectively resisted by uh, the by the amount of the card so here we go let's take a look at this 
Uh, the card's going to give you 400 HP, respectable amount, 119 attack, 43 magic. But that's not what we, what we want it for. We want it for the effects. 10% piercing resistance is a selfish buff against stacks with the party buff. And area of effect resistance is going up to 20. Now, this is similar to attack resistance in the sense that it is a... It's roughly a percent... It is, these are all basis numbers, as I understand it. should be about a roughly 20% that should lower area, uh, area of effect damage. And that's going to be pretty, pretty nice because it is a party effect. So this is going to be another way of building up a resistance uh, type of base party now keep in mind i don't i believe this just like just like attack resistance i don't expect this to actually add any resistance to your kit like slashing so on and so forth it's not going to add those those numbers in it's it's something that is built into uh, the damage formula at some point but effectively it's about uh, roughly 20 for should be about a 20 percent reduction which is pretty nice so on the esper you have a ton of def you've got about you've got a ton of defense on the right side and a ton of missile resistance on the left side. I mean, if you if you if you look at this here, you're getting you're getting quite a bit for both. You can get some accuracy and some evocation damage. You can actually take that off and get poison resistance or evasion rate if you want to. But evasion is kind of worthless. Poison resistance of three percent. I don't think it's gonna kill anybody unless you know it's something that you gotta you're really desperate to get. So, but yeah, you're getting about twenty. 5% here of yeah, you're getting about 25% of missile resistance and we're going to I had to like quickly do some math here 6 and 4 5 and uh, 3 it's 8 carry to 2 is 20 next to 5 there you go so you need to get uh, 10 on defense you can get 15 on defense but you got to sacrifice some of your missile and some other stuff it's just I don't I don't think that's worth it you want to get resistance over defense and spirit in my in my personal opinion they tend to have more of an effect because you can go through defense and spirit with penetration attacks, so that's something to keep in mind. So that's pretty much Death Machine in a nutshell. He does buff attack when he does his AoE fire attack, which is pretty nice. Uh, moving right along here, we've got the collaborative event quests and whatnot. So you're going to have a event quest and clear, you know, clear it, get the vent medals, all that good stuff. We'll take a look at the shop after that drops. There is a high difficulty X quest that's going to give you the armor of light. Now, I'm going to take a look at this armor of light, and I'm going to compare it. So this is going to be armor of light and it is going to grant you now here's the main focus of this i want i want to put an emphasis on this because i, I reviewed this before and i'm re-recording this now because i want to give you guys a better a better uh example of what this is about so if you look down here increases magic resistance by eight percent now that is the main focus of this armor it's not so much the defense and the spirit it's that it grants magic resistance so i've i've looked around and for the foreseeable future this is pretty much the only armor set that you can get between armor helmets and whatnot unless i missed something and i don't think i did that you can get magic resistance now stop before somebody goes in the comments i recognize that you can get this on cloth items i'm talking about heavy armor and heavy helmets that tanks knights paladins those types of units can utilize now rain can utilize clothing type items so he's got other options but if you were looking to build magic resistance this is pretty much it for heavy armor so you get up to eight percent magic resistance on the shield side you're getting 15 defense six spirit barrier getting seven defense and 12 spirit but if we compare this with like a golden armor golden armor clearly has more defense but it raises slashing of resistance instead so we get we compare it with the platinum armor. The platinum armor is basically golden, but golden armor, but better and increases striking resistance instead. So, excuse me. Uh, mo so moving to the clothing sections, like I said, Rain can use the smart coat. So for him, smart coat might be a really good option here, where you've got uh, on the barrier side, you've got 21 spirit, you've got 8% magic resistance down here in the corner next to my ear, and then of course under the shield section, you've got nine defense, 10 spirit, which you get you can get a bit of a balance if you want to go there there's a little bit less hp 330 versus 400 but of course like i said this is where the the cloth types may be more beneficial because they're a little bit easier to get a hold of and they have different 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 uh, jobs that can utilize them but as far as like the like these two the mirage vest gives you seven percent magic resistance and that's an sr so that's going to be a lot easier to get a hold of by the you know get the get the equipment recipes and, and build up this is 12 is it 12 and six or um defense spirit and then you flip to six and 12 on the shield and barrier side respectively so but again you get magic resistance from all that and, and rain can use that however for you know heroes like uh, like engelbert uh warrior of light agrias they are they are stuck with the heavy armor types and this is going to be pretty much their only option for 
the foreseeable future. So that is what I wanted to, wanted to focus on when we talk about the armor itself. Armor Blight's definitely going to have its have its place in its situations, I'm sure. However, there are other pieces of gear that are a little bit, maybe a little bit easier obtainable and a little bit easier to build up, say, the Smart Coat and the Mirage Vest if you're if you can utilize if that class can utilize the the claws such as like a Thankrid as an example or, or Landu as an example that's going to be something that you might be able to utilize uh, a little bit more you know a little bit more effectively in certain cases moving right along here I feel like I'm spending too much time with this that's going to be we're almost uh, we're almost wrapped up here uh, we're going to get some challenge bonuses some login bonuses it goes to about 2500 vision or login every day for five days don't skip out on that challenge missions now these i like these are the these are the board missions these are the bingo missions okay i like these i always have fun with these i think they're really fun i think they're really cool and they're usually pretty easy pretty simple pretty straightforward the i know the mobius one was was like awaken the card but i think they gave you the shards to unlock and awaken the card eventually during the event so that was pretty cool so we're gonna get some skip story skip tition story skip ticket 700 vision or a rainbow vision sphere and a partridge and a pear tree is what we're going to be getting here. Summer campaigns. There is a 10% Vizior back campaign. So, you know, like that money back you get from your bank when you, like, go to buy something. It's going to be kind of like that. But receive 10% vision or back on vision or use to perform summons during the campaign period. So it is for summons, not for shop purchases and things of that nature. It says it'll be credited back to you at a later date. And then note, uh, it'll be sent to presents sequentially from... This is, this is, this is why I, I... This is the word... Why the wording is weird for me. From... Uh, midnight, eight seven. So I will get this back on the seventh of August. I know, I know that that's what they mean. It's just one of those things where I'm looking at it and I'm like, it should, it could just say, you know, starting at, you know, or starting, you know, something like that. You know what I'm saying? It is as opposed to the way that they're wording it from. I don't know. So anyway, am I the only one? Please tell me I'm not the only one. I feel, I feel, I feel very vulnerable right now, guys. I need, I need, I need to be. I'm, I'm insecure. I need you to help me out. I'm just kidding. So hard quest, item drop, double up campaign, but really help me out not feel crazy. So item drobble, <laughs> item drobble, item drobble, double double. And we're just going to move on and pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> Take on hard quest, get double drops. There you go. Uh, arena campaign, getting some double medals. JP reward quest is back. So lots of really cool stuff's coming up. And if you didn't know about it, this was launched yesterday. The We finally have a update video series or a dev presentation series that's going to be available through YouTube and Facebook. They do a lot of updates through Facebook if you want to get things quicker. Uh, however, the video uh, is going to be posted on YouTube. This is a dev series update for Final for War of the Visions, and we didn't have that before. The first, you know, recently we had one. We had sort of the crossover with War of the Visions, and they talked about it on the Final Fantasy Break XVS video. But this is the first official one that was launched, and you can take a look at it. Basically, it's it just says they. This is a big deal. So coming in August, we will be able to, they confirmed under the video, and this is the most important part of the video that, that to take away, everything else you, you probably already know, is that the, the, the ability to toggle abilities on and off is coming in August. Hiro, Hiroshi-san was able to pro, confirm that. So things to consider, all right? Finally, we'll be able to talk. Finally, we'll, finally, Mont will be a thousand times more effective. Uh, or, or not, a, not Hiroshi. I mispronounced Hiroki-san, and uh, he confirmed that. So, Mont will be a thousand times more effective because he will no longer do stone throw. Anybody else? Anybody else? I still use Mont, and I'm not replacing Mont until I get a tank that I'm comfortable with. So, anyway, Whisper, I know you're out there, baby. I'm coming for you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to be pulling for Warrior of Light? Are you going to wait until after my review video? It might already be out by the time you see this video. So, guys, I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm, I know I made, like, a, I kind of stumbled over my words a little bit. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. I got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.